Hey yo, what's up, everybody? Homes here, and welcome back to some more Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. Real uh, walkthrough, not a playthrough, with my triple katana build. And uh, yeah, welcome back. Today we are gonna be taking on the Consumed King's Garden. And for that, we're gonna have to be here at Lothar Castle, well, the entrance of Lothar Castle. So yeah, and it's the same thing, you know, to take this ladder up, but instead of going straight, we're gonna hang a left this time. So there's this alternate path right here, and this is totally optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You guys can like go fight the main boss right now, like the final boss if you want. But I want to cover everything here, so yeah, let's take on this side area. Um, first up, we're gonna see this knight here, and you can kind of just creep up behind him as long as you just do a slow walk. Just get up behind him, get a backstab. There we go. And while he's getting up. Get a little combo in. Oh, bounce off the shield. Nope. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty damn easy. And all you have to do is just take this elevator down. But we're going to have to do a little drop off the elevator. So, you know, have to watch and just drop off right here. Okay. You could take the elevator all the way down. But you're going to be missing out on our final Estus shard right here. Alright. So, yeah. And with that, we complete our Estus upgrades. We got 15 Estus now, and we also have um, plus 10, you know, healing thing. Uh, next up, you're gonna want to equip uh, some charcoal pine resins, so you can buff your sword, so we can deal with these snake things because they're really weak to fire. So get that, and then just stab them, and just get a combo off. And that's how you deal with these guys. Um, you guys can also use black fire bombs. If you guys want. But I feel like this is easier. Take care of this guy. Because this guy's going to get up. And he's going to hit you in the back. If you don't. And then rush for the next one. Ooh, just, you know, as long as you hit him with that first hit. You're, it's going to stun him for a little bit. And then just do a little bit of crap out of him. And last guy here. Missed my poke. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Nope. Okay, we got him. All right, and we got some slime throwing up, throwing up on us. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, those guys are probably like the most dangerous thing that's gonna be here. The, um, the three black sneak dudes. And yeah, other than that, this should be pretty much a cakewalk through this toxic area. Um, and also, I did buy some. Um, toxic cure moss. It's not. That's not what it's called. I think it's called the white, purple, blue moss or something like that. Um, but yeah, make sure you have some of those. So in case you get toxic, you know, you probably will if you try to get everything here. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. When once we get hit by that toxic, I'm just gonna let. I'm just gonna leave it there until we pick everything up in the toxic pit. Um, but first, I do want to deal with this knight. Just for the hell of it. It's not gonna bother us if we keep, you know, we stay in the bottom area, but I just wanna take out this guy. What's up, dude? <laughs> Watch your six. And same deal as the first one. Oh shit. Okay, dodge. Oh, he nailed me. Nope, not, not anymore. Yeah, one hit is enough. One hit is enough. And that's good. So we, clear, we cleared out all the baddies right here. Um, there's gonna be a couple, there's gonna be like two more knights that's gonna be towards the end, like near the boss gate, and we'll deal with that later. But for now, let's go ahead and just grab up all these pickups. And uh, yeah, and you can also get the shadow set right here. It's like the ninja looking set in Dark Souls. Pretty cool. I, I don't really like it because everything is cool except for the face. Like, it looks really weird with just your eyes. I don't know. It, it, it's, I don't know, everything else looks, looks good. Maybe if they only have the mask with like the head part, it'll look nice, but yeah, I don't know. It looks really weird when it has the entire thing. You guys can check it out if you guys want to. But yeah, and that should be the only time we get hit by that toxic. So yeah, this is a little another side area we can go to to get some more pickups. So while we're doing that, taking the elevator up, let me just show you guys the stuff we got. We got the claw. You can actually dual wield this. 
okay just press triangle and you can dual wield it on both hands so you don't have to like play ng plus or have your friend give you one so yeah and there's the shadow set this was like my main set that i wanted to go for when i first started dark souls 3 but then i'm like mm, nah let's just throw throw like some random piece of armor together and make it look cool so yeah um next up we're gonna need a bow for this part um right there there's gonna be uh there's gonna be like three guy or oh, two guys that's gonna hang on the wall right there the first one and then the other one that you just saw in the beginning and then the final one he's not gonna be hanging on the wall he's just gonna be in the front shooting blow dart at us so yeah this is why we need the bow and snipe his ass okay man Wow, is he really just... Get your... There we go. Alright, come on. <laughs> Easy kill. Alright, let's get rid of the bow and let's go ahead and just... Melee the crap out of these guys that's up here. There's only one, um, this guy right here, the thief guy, the thrall. And then there's two... Two healers up up top. So, yeah. um, Shouldn't be too much of a problem here. What up? Not good in close combat, huh? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. And that's pretty much it for this little side area. And when you open up this door, it just leads back out to where we started. So it's kind of like, it's before we took the elevator down, is when we made that left turn. So right there, that's Lothar Castle, and we went down there. So that's that. And we're just going to head on back down from here. Uh, I know there's a pickup right here. Okay. So that's that for this little side area. I I'm not really sure what this is about, but... Yeah. And... We're gonna head on back to the elevator and we can do a little secret drop thing again. Um, and that's gonna take us to a... To a ring. So, just, you know, take the elevator down and watch for this floor right here and just drop down here. And... Just follow this path down. There's gonna be one guy. I think this is a healer. But yeah, here's the ring. And the healer is right over here. Oh shit. That bitch fell. Um, there's a ring that we just got. And we're just gonna snipe the other guy that he fell. So he equip the bow. Yeah, now we're just gonna pull this knight here. These guys are real, they're a real pain in the ass because they have these great swords. And man, those things hit hard. So, yeah. I'm gonna kinda, ooh, don't hit me. Alright, do a drop attack. That even, okay, I sort of land, ooh, yeah. Okay, I still have a boy equip, oh crap, damn it. Alright. And oh shit! If you guys can, oh boy, get a backstab, it'll be nice. But yeah, um, you guys can also summon um a phantom for help right here. So yeah, this will probably be easier if you summon the phantom, but it's just one more left, so I'm not gonna go through the trouble of summoning him and then like send him back home before I take on the boss. So let's just take on this knight. 101, fair and square, let's go. Alright. Could have landed a backstab right there. Ooh. Whoa, that was that was like fucking disrespect right there. He just kicked me in the face. Uh-uh. Nobody kicks Holmes in the face and gets away with it. Yeah. And you should probably, you know, get new shoes because that shit stink. But anyways, um upon defeating those two knights, you will get this ring right here. Right, the magic stone plate ring. So that's how you get that. And that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think there's anything else that we can get here. So yeah, we got everything there. Pretty small area. 
And next up, we're going to be taking on the boss, um, Osiris, I believe that's his name, the Consumed King. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this part of the walkthrough. So I thank you all for watching, and I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. And if y'all found all three of those qualities be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for the next one. But until next time, I will see you all later. Homes. That's...